Hi everyone, this is June. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the things I wish I knew before I came to Italy. At least A2 level Italian. I came to Italy like just knowing ciao and the grazie. I've been having a hard time to study Italian and study medicine at the same time. Italian is necessary not only to become third degree students but also to survive in daily life. I live in Milan which is known as international city but I barely meet people who are comfortable with English. So if you plan to study in the small cities, I think you will have many problems if you only speak in English. Cognitive Fiscali is number um, for the text, but it's also used in the many places. For, for example, I use it Cognitive Fiscali uh, when I get vaccinated here. Of course, you can um, get the documents of Cognitive Fiscali in Italy. It's way easier uh, if you ask for the Cognitive Fiscali when you apply for the study visa. It's late if you're looking for a dormitory after I met. It happened to me and I didn't get in the dormitory. And especially for IMS, it's way harder to get in the dormitory if you're second year or third year students. So I highly recommend you to check university homepage and apply for the every scholarship you can get before you actually do the IMET. Please apply for the dormitory and the scholarship before you do the IMAT test. And just for the tip, if you already graduated from the four-year university in your country or different place, you cannot get the Mensa scholarship in IMS. I am an example of this case. I'm qualified to get a Mensa scholarship, which is provided by the university for the lunch. So if you can use either your high school grade or your university grade, I think to get Mensa, um, your high school grade is much better. If you cannot get in the dormitory or you prefer to live outside dormitory, I recommend you to check the website uh, for the housing, for, for example, Immobiliare, to get to know what room condition you're gonna get with your uh, budget. Because when I was a freshman, I spent so much time in searching for the rooms. And as you're gonna arrive here October, and it's not a like popular season for moving out, it's not very easy. In freshman year, there are some uh, subjects, for example, chemistry and physics. You might get exception if you studied those topics in your previous university. In my case, it was chemistry, but I couldn't get it because it was really hard to prepare all the documents in Italy because you need to get the um, syllabus and the different documents and these should be translated in Italian and then you need different process. For example, go to embassy and get the aspotillo. First subject is fundamental basis of the science including biochemistry and physics and this was the subject that you may get exception they give you homework and when you finish all the homework on time there was no oral for this exam and the next lecture is CMG 
cells, molecules and genes, about biomedical genes and uh, biotechnology. For the first semester there was no oral exam and only written one but for the CMG2 uh, study in the, the second semester I have I had to do the oral exam. And the last but most important subject is human body. It includes histology and uh, anatomy. You have only one exam for this one. This is a one-year course and you will do exam at the end of the year. And there will be oral exam with several professors. And it's the most tricky exam to pass for the first year students. So in summary, you're gonna learn the fundamental basis of the science, CMG, and the human body for your freshman year. I personally don't think you should study these topics in advance. If you're not fluent in Italian, I think studying Italian would be more helpful and especially for the clinical years. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I hope this video is helpful for you. Please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Ciao!